Mystic Mac, uh, you're, uh, you're always making predictions on fights. Uh, how's this one gonna go? I feel his repetitive foot patterns and his pull motions are too readable, too predict predictable. He will be too slow in there. The speed will stifle him. His soft body and his lack of preparation, he will not be able to handle the uh, ferocity. So, end of the first, I feel he will be put away. I, I, I respect Nate, don't get me wrong, I do respect Nate. There's a lot of pussies in this game and he is not one of them. So, I, don't, don't get me wrong, there's a respect there between us. But it's business in, in, in there, and, and business is business. He will be KO'd inside the fourth round. And Nate, Nate, for you, uh, do you have a prediction uh, on how this fight's gonna go? Yeah, Nate, Nate, do you, do you have a particular strategy, Nate, down here, do you have a particular strategy in going against Connor? Yeah, I'm just gonna kill or be killed. That's what I'm coming with. Connor, Dana White. Hey, this is America. I run the West Coast. I run the West Coast and the East Coast. Connor, Dana White says you're the greatest mental warfare fighter he's ever met. How big of a role do you think your pre-fight antics, your mind games play in your fights? I'm just coming in and being me. I'm being real and saying what I feel, saying analyzing my opponent, analyzing everything about the, the whole game. And that's it, I'm not trying to play no games or nothing. There is no games in this. People always think it's a game or it's an act. But when we're in there face to face, it's no act and it's no game. So take out mental warfare, take out all that. I'm just simply the best fighter and that's it. N Nate, what, uh, Connor, what makes you so successful? What makes your approach so successful and how will you approach uh, Nate Diaz in this fight? My, my true, hard work. It's, it's as simple as that. Real, true, hard work. It can't, it can't be denied. It can't be stopped. You know, the, another reason I chose Nate, he, he fought, he, can't, he showed up his last fight. It was, an, it was an okay performance, albeit a decision, but he showed up in shape and he talked well. But I mean, I don't know. I'm just happy. I, I don't give a shit. I'm just ready to fight now at this stage. You know, this, this is it now. 11, 10 days out. Let's see what this man is about. He talked like I took something from him. That's what he said after the fight. I've taken everything he's worked for and I, I work like a motherfucker. I, I don't get our shape. He gets our shape. His fight against the Sanyos, he looked like this, he was the skinniest fat guy I've ever seen in my life. The last fight he came in in shape. This, this time now, the fact that he's asking for weight changes all the time, I'd imagine he got back our shape. So he's talking like, relax, relax Nick. He's doing good. He's doing good up here, Nick. Relax. So he, yeah, I like took no from him. I walked hard. I walked hard, midgets. and that's it. All midgets. I fought fucking every fucking week forever, motherfucker. I've been in the UFC forever, fighting everybody. Right here. Right here. Uh, Nate has a very aggressive style. Come forward, like the about this fight. Is is that why? Because you know you're going to be in a scrap. You know you're going to be in a, a throwdown fight like that. Yeah, well, he comes he comes forward, but his his understanding of ring generalship and ring control is very very am amateurish. It's novice where I come from. Um, so he will, he will understand the difference between um, amateur and world champion, so. Uh, but I'm looking forward to him coming out, and I'll come out too. I come out to trap like a greyhound, like a champion greyhound I come out at a hundred mile Who an do you hour, train with? and I don't stop, and Who I don't do you stop. you train with? <clears throat> so we'll see, we'll see what, what he's about when the, when the bell rings. We'll got see no training partners. Game. Let's see. I've got I've got world titles and multi millions of dollars. You've got twenty thousand to show your last fight. And little and man weight kiddies, division. And you teach little kiddies, short weight you division. You teach kiddies jujitsu on Sunday weight division morning. Champion. You're a junior infant jujitsu coach. I've been fighting grown Junior infant jujitsu coaching. You teach seminars to eat. You have to teach seminars all across the fucking California just to make ends meet. So worry about you. You fight I'm a world champion, multi millionaire. You fight midgets. And that's it. You knocked out three midgets and you're pumped up. Yeah, and I'm about to knock out midget. stuffed I'm a real motherfucking fighter fighting grown up. Fast all the Mexicans are about to get stiff and dug onto that list too. Uh, I got a 145 pound homeboy out here will beat your ass too. So I don't know what you're talking Connor, about. Connor, uh, in your weight class. Hafei obviously has a, a different style than a much different style. You even taking this fight obviously on short notice. Is there any differences you make going forward from now to the fight? Absolutely, absolutely no. And I prepare to fight. I don't prepare to fight a, a any particular set of movements. I simply prepare to fight. You know, 
you look, you look down the, or up the roster, down the roster, whatever way you want to look at it. What was Verdum saying? He had an opponent. Remember that pussy was all talk? What was he saying? His opponent pulled, a uh, cane pulled out, and they got, they scheduled a new opponent all of a sudden. No, I don't want it no more. It's a new opponent. I'm not ready, so. As many, like I said, as many pussies in this game, but I ain't one. Just a question for Nate. We, we heard Connor's uh, take on what the negotiations were like, but can you tell us?